uh, showing at this CES is our, our new Ubuntu for phones. And it's being demonstrated at both ends of the booth here. And what's exciting about, um, well, you know, out here, if you want to see a demonstration. Yeah, I would like to see a demonstration. Let's see here. So he's showing it actually on the screen. Can you see that, John? Can you get, can you talk about what you're doing? Oh, you are talking. Are you looking for a demo of the Ubuntu phone? Yeah, everyone's really excited about it. So everybody's really excited about it. I should start over again and just show you the demo over here. I would really like that. So this is the new Ubuntu OS, correct? Yes, it is. Uh, well, it's not the new Ubuntu OS. It's the Ubuntu OS running on a phone now. Right. 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 Got it. Right. Ubuntu for phone OS. It's Ubuntu for phones, exactly. It's Ubuntu running on phones. Set it up for you. One second. He's just making some last-minute adjustments before the demo. Greg, are you excited about this new OS for the phones? Yeah. Me too. Super Sorry. excited. Here you go. So, um, have you seen it before? I haven't. This is a first for me. I'm an Ubuntu phone OS virgin. Okay, then we're going to solve that. Okay. <laughs> nice. I like the wording there. There you go. Um, so uh, what you see over here is um, the welcome screen of Ubuntu. And um, there are basically two important things to notice over there. Uh, one is um, that you see a visualization of your personal life, which builds over time. So it's very unique to uh, every uh, user uh, and very unique to me. The other very important thing to notice is that uh, there are no, no buttons. So no hard key buttons, no soft key buttons. And the, most of, the reason for that is that we have uh, designed the experience such that um, the user can use every edge of the uh, screen to interact with the device. It allows much faster interaction and much natural interaction rather than a phone with all kinds of buttons on it, right? So, for example, when I would use the uh, left edge of the screen, I can go immediately to uh, my favorite apps, right? So we have seen that uh, people uh, have many, many apps, but they use 10 to 15 apps most often. And that's exactly what Launcher does. So I can put my favorite apps in here, Facebook, Gallery, I can go to the camera, for example, the phone, or I can go and unlock the phone basically to my home screen. So it, very quick access. This, these are the home screens. This is basically uh, all, my, all my stuff, is my apps, my uh, calls, my contents. I can go and swipe sideways, basically to go to uh, my contacts, uh, go to music, uh, go the other way to uh, all my apps, my running apps, my, my installed apps, and videos. You see that? So if I want to go, for example, now to a native app, so we both have native and web apps that are sitting side by side. So for example, Facebook over here is a web app. It uses all kinds of core components of the OS. So for example, when I go to people over here, you see that uh, one of the, co um, the contacts just has a status update that Facebook are uh, completely integrated, uh, even though it's from a web service, so that's all full integrated. And when I go now, for example, to uh, the gallery, which is a native app, we also allow uh, more um, native experiences for uh, apps that require high performance, right? So for example, games or apps that require a lot of media, they're all native. Uh, one of the core principles here is that we wanted to optimize the whole uh, screen for the contents. No controls that are in your face all the time. I just want to see my content. So over here you see uh, pictures. Uh, when I start scrolling, even the header goes away, right? So I, I just see my photos. When I scroll back, header is here. I go to photos, see a different view, go to events, have a different view again. When I open a picture now, for example, I see a picture here. Um, there's still no controls, and for 80% of the time, that's fine. Like 80% of the time, I'm looking at photos, right? 20% uh, of the time, I might want to do something with it. So for example, I want to share it, or want to edit my picture. And that's what, basically what the bottom edge does. So I use the bottom edge to reveal those controls. So this is, uh, for example, um, to edit my picture, or uh, that, or share my picture, right? I can hide it again. So I go back to the gallery. One of the other things we saw when we did user research was that um, um, when people are using apps, sometimes they want to change settings. Uh, they want to change the Wi-Fi, want to change the battery, want to change sound, for example. Um, and some on other platforms, it's really cumbersome to do that. You have to go back to the home screen, find the settings app, find the right setting, and it's, you know, it's just not very fast. And we found a very uh, much faster and easier way to do it, of doing that. So, and this is basically what the top edge, the top edge of the screen is for. So I go to the top edge. See that? 
go to messages, I swipe sideways, go to sounds, battery, date, and time. Battery, for example, I go down, I can change the brightness of the screen, bring it back up, back up again, and back in my app. So a super fast way of accessing my, my system settings. Also, when I go, for example, to messages, over here, I see, for example, missed calls. I might want to reply to that. I might want to reply to an email. I bring it back up again. I'm back in my app. Super fast. Wow. The other thing is, um, so this is the top edge, right? So we have the, the left edge for launching apps, the bottom edge for uh, showing controls, and the top edge for going to system settings. What we also found was that users switch a lot between apps. I open an app. I open another app. I maybe want to, maybe I want to copy and paste between apps. So I want to switch very fast between apps. Rather than do, doing like a double tap or whatever, which is always a bit flaky, um, we found a much faster way of doing that, which is using the right edge of the screen. So for example, over here, I have the gallery app. When I use the right edge of the screen, I go to my Facebook app, see that? And again, I go to my notes app. And so these the last used apps? Is that why it's like a carousel, actually. So when I open another app, I, I swipe from the right, I go to my previous app, basically, right? So I launch a new app from the left, use the right edge to my previous app, and by that, multitasking and switching between apps is super fast. Using left ad edge again, go to the home screen, and I'm back. So I love this. When when is the first time that I can put this on a phone? When? So we're hoping that we uh, that that uh, we will have a version available later this year. And what what will it be compatible with? What are the system requirements and the hardware requirements? Right. So we basically have uh, two like open to stretches from low end to high end. So, for example, on the low end, now it's running on a dual core one gigahertz. It also runs okay on a 512 with one gigahertz, basically. Um, so Ubuntu really can target the, the mid to low end devices. Um, we also have a converged experience where Ubuntu can, U the Ubuntu PC experience can run from a device um, on the de uh, as a desktop, basically from a device, and that's basically the high end solution. So we will have Ubuntu phone, and when you dock it, basically, you you, you will get the PC experience on a big screen, and that's requires a more, uh, more uh, quad-core processor, basically. So, so we both have low-end solutions and high-end solutions. Very yeah. cool. Well, thank you so much. Evo, is that how you say Evo, your name? Yeah, exactly. Evo, that's cool. It's like